Hello everybody, welcome to PBA 405 week 13. We are uh, wrapping up the semester here and I just wanted to uh, say thank you to everybody who has been doing such a good job and uh, up to this point. I enjoyed getting to know a lot of you at the Frozen Goat on Saturday and on Thursday. And um, I told a lot of you guys about Dixie and Emmy, my Shih Tzu Las Opsa mixes, and I thought that I would introduce Dixie to you here. D this is Dixie Lee. She's a very sweet girl. Uh, Shih Tzu Las Opsa mix. And uh, you want to say hi to everybody, Dixie Lee? Okay, hello. Okay, she's a very sweet girl. Yes, she is. Okay. Mwah. Anyway, um, that is that is her. So, um, I just wanted to introduce the lesson for this week a little bit. It is um, on policy um, analysis, cost-benefit analysis. And uh, I'm not going to get too far in detail over the... Uh, uh, content, but uh, I did want to talk a little bit about its applications. Um, we are in an environment, uh, can, you know, um, currently a policy environment in which cost-benefit analysis has never been more important because our nation is so complex and there are so many wide uh, widespread implications of policies. Uh, for example, the Affordable Health Care Act, which uh, put into place um, a uh, basically restructuring of the way that our health care system is implemented. And it impacts not only American citizens, but uh, insurance companies, um, the uh, uh, federal agencies that uh, regulate the um, healthcare industries, uh, private physician providers, um, hospitals, um, anybody who's involved with healthcare has been impacted by it. So the idea is that you know what what were some of the theories involved with? Okay, we're just going to restructure this and. Um, how did we get from this is a good idea to um, this actually will create positive measurable benefits to the American people? Um, so, and who wins and who loses in this situation? Um, so it, it's, it's a, a benefit analysis that can be applicable in in that large of a scale, but then also um, think about even the personal implications of cost-benefit analysis. For example, in the module it looks at uh, choosing a, a university and what are the various factors involved, um, what are the costs, what are the benefits, and costs don't always have to be put into terms of dollars. They can be put in, they very can be intangible. So. Um, how do you measure um, uh, costs and benefits from the personal perspective, from an organizational perspective, from a macro policy perspective um, can get very, uh, can be very wide and varied, but the end goal is always, as we've learned to, as a policy analyst, analyst to inform decision makers of the right, uh, of the information they need uh, to know if the policy that they are possibly going to vote for or implement are going to be uh, effective uh, and accomplish the goals that they believe will best benefit their constituents. So, um, that's just a little bit of a very big picture overview. Um, I think that cost-benefit analysis is a very useful tool, and I hope that you enjoy the uh, the chapter as well as um, the uh, the content. Um, and 
thanks to everybody who submitted your group assignments as well. And um, I've enjoyed working with a lot of you guys on that, talking about that. So anyway, hope everybody has a great week. As always, I'm accessible and open to um, phone calls or texts or email um, or set up an appointment uh, to meet with me in my office hours on Thursday night uh, or some other time. Okay, thank you all and have a great week. <laughs>